Nah, people, 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 Joel Benjamin, 528 here. Salute to the international audience. Ah, let me get this mic over here. Salute to the domestic audience. Salute to the international audience. Salute to all those beings that rock with me. Okay. Let me just fix my mic and everything. I'm sorry about that, people. I apologize greatly. Okay. My check, my check, my check. Hopefully you have to hear me well. Well, where's everybody at? Where's everybody at? Let me see how before I get started. What's up, Winsome Thomas, Tracy Natural? I see y'all. And people, I'm not going to be on here long <sighs> because I had a long day. I'm going to go rest myself. My check, my Went check, to my the doctor. check. Oh, bills are going live. Went to the doctor and got the hand checked out. Okay. Mm. Let me see something here. So. I'm just coming to give you a quick live stream. And if anybody want to ask any questions, and I'm not going to beg y'all to ask questions either. I'm going to tell you right now. You know, depending on y'all interaction, depending on how long this live stream goes, because honestly speaking, I don't want to give y'all this information to begin with. That's what I said. I really don't. This is not information that is just for every and anybody like that to begin with, you know? So I'm just saying, keep that in mind. Now let me press this. There we go. So you see the title scrolling across there. The 72 Lesser Key of Solomon Warning. Arj Guesha and the 72 angels of the Shem Ha Mepharash or Hamafarash for those that want to really pronounce it all fast and everything. Now, I did this because of a call I got this morning. Okay. Where do I start? Let me tell y'all. Number one, anybody in the room know about Alistair Crawley? So I'm about to give y'all this source. Okay. The cards that I have, we are going to give y'all a gift for the people who are supposed to get the decks. All right. The only reason why we didn't send out the small ones to you, because that's what you're going to get as the gift. You're going to get the big ones. You know, the whole coronavirus thing, everything put on hold or whatever. But those who have the small ones who are in the area, because it makes no sense doing two sets of shipping, just so y'all know. For those who have gotten that because they're in the New York area, that's where I could just hand it to you. You know what time it is. Let me say this. It have people that want to be advanced, want to go all crazy on a frenzy, and think you just going to jump ahead to the lesser keys of Solomon. So I see a few of y'all know who Alistair Crawley is. When getting into this type of conjuring, because that's what it, it all boils down to. When dealing with conjuring, for those who had, was privileged enough to get the pay-per-view live stream, dealing with the 72 angel of the Shem uh, Ha Muf. I always jack the name up. The Shemaha Mef Farash. Okay. For anybody who 
got on that, then you'll know how deep and serious that information was. Some of y'all too scared to even journey that far into this. I'm going to tell you now. A lot of y'all ain't ready for this right here, period. Now, you, what you have to understand, there's, a, there's certain books that are sold on the market. I'm talking about old conjuring books. Okay? That's worth thousands of dollars and up. People. For you, for you people out there that think you're just gonna pay all that money and get this book and you'll be dangerous, you'll be the best of what you gotta do. No. Let me tell y'all, with all the deaths that's going on, you have certain entities which I already brought up the warping entities to you. And I told you they'll be around this time. I told you this last year. And I'm going to keep my composure tonight. I'm not going to act all that. I'm going to be cool. You all want to enter and open into a situation and portals you all are not prepared for. With this coronavirus, which is like basically the name alone, letting you know it's the king of diseases. That, that That's basically what it's telling you. For them to name it that, and they named it that because of the corona spikes. Uh, like if it's a crown around the head, blah, blah, blah. Y'all know that already. But listen. There's going to be times where you, where you feel like stuff is talking to you. I'm talking about the regular average person that's not even into this, who don't even know about this kind of thing. All right? They're going to be on your case. Now, just like how you have the 72 above, you have 72 below. They say it's something that is a part of you, which it is true. But just because it's a part of you does not mean it can't take over you. Let me say that again. Just because the 72 above and the 72 below are part of you does not mean it cannot take over you. Now, you have people that want to get into and deal with the 72 below. And they haven't even... Fuck. Excuse my language. Almost cursed. Almost cursed. Almost. They haven't even mastered or have somewhat idea of the 72 above or deal with the higher angelic beings. That's where you have your archangels when you're dealing with Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, the Samael, and the, the rest of you, just to name a few, okay? These Archangels that governs and they were controlling the, with the rest of angels. If you don't even master and deal with your actual archangels, how could you even try to deal with the 72? A lot of people have not mastered their three birth angels. Some of y'all still haven't got a birth angel reading done yet. Okay, and for y'all that have you deal with that do deal with their three birth angels that have, they get your birth angel reading done. Okay, you have to focus 
and open your eyes to the real matter at hand. Now you might say, okay, well, what is the real matter at hand? Educate us, teach us, give us the source. Don't keep us in the dark. Let me tell you why a lot of times I have to keep y'all asses in the dark. Because y'all want to open up things that don't need to be open. Oh, especially around this time. That's why you have a force that will move you and make you feel you could open this up and do this. And I'm like, do you, do y'all understand why you think people that's doing certain things like your spouse or whatever, that's just doing dumb, dumb ish. And you're like, why would he do that? Or why should why would she do that? Not knowing they're under an influence that's going on around this time. Okay? I want y'all to understand that part right there. You're not knowing that there is a, an influence that's taking over them around this time. Why? They're performing the situation of what they perform. Y'all follow me? Um, salute to Johnny Boy for the super chat support. Um, let me see, let me just read some of the comments. Tracy Natural said, yes, Brother Joe, you spoke about the warping entities on a pay-per-view live stream with Brother Divine last year. Yes, I did. And I've been giving y'all regular lives about it, live streams about it, all last year coming in where it's correlating with the Magnetar star that was coming through. So anyway, when you get involved, with these things and you're trying to do the conjuring, you have to understand what text are you getting it from? What text are you dealing with? Is it a perverted text from Alistair Crawley? So let me just show you a picture real quick. There's a book. Then I'll show you the site. And I'm really trying to be patient with y'all. So, y'all be patient with me. Bear with me. Okay? I'm going to give y'all some work tonight. Something to think about. You see that right there? This is, look, it's written right here. This is just something they typed there. But look, the book of black magic. All right. Don't get this twisted. Don't get this book twisted. I'm just showing you something on where you can get certain texts and certain information. And oh yeah, this is a black or old ass book. You see, privately printed. See that in there? I'm just giving you a source, a look at what's going on. This is from since the 1800s. All right. Notice, including the rites and mysteries of the Jostics, theology, sorority, and infernal necromancy necromancy is dealing with the conjuring of entities all right raising the dead see people 
There it goes. When you think, oh, let me show you the price of the book, by the way. Just so you know. Oh, yeah. Let me give y'all that source. See the price of the book? And it said buy used. That's you getting the book used. And where's the book coming from? The United Kingdom. So they'll ship it from the United Kingdom to the U.S. Okay? Just to show you, just so you get an example of what you're dealing with. Book is a, a 10 by 8 inch. See? Just, just to show you. And I ain't, I ain't going to stay on this long. Now, everybody wants to somehow know what is the deal with my book collection. I have books that you, if you were to even look at it, it would be a problem. You hear me? It would be a problem for you. By just looking at it. That's all I'm going to say. So now, you have people that want to deal with the lesser keys of Solomon. Or the lesser key of Solomon, as it's called. Which is dealing with the 72 below. The demons. And y'all don't even have an understanding of the seals. They're supposed to bind them. Just messing with the seals alone. All right? Just the seals alone could F you up. I'm not even going with you opening the seals. I need y'all to understand this because maybe... I never made this clear. Okay? Just the seals alone will mess you up. Now, if anybody disagree with me, let me know. All right? And then I want to know what have you opened up already? Let me continue. With these, and I'm, I'm really giving you this information so you can pay attention and understand. When dealing with these seals and opening up these seals, it's like you're opening up a Pandora's box. They will use trickery and their vibes to make you think you're ready. Okay, to rise them up again before it's time. Oh, oh, the seals will open. The seals will open, but it's not supposed to be open before it's time. All right, <clears throat> so. Uh -huh. Let me see. Let me give you some references. Just so you know. All right. Just so you know, if you get a book by Samuel McGorry Mathers or Samuel Liddell. McGorry Mathers. Yes, I know it's a long ass name. All right. And it was published by Alistair Crawley. Al Alistair Crawley. Yeah, so y'all know who Alistair Crawley is. Understand a lot of that work is corrupted. I don't believe I need to go into Alistair Crawley. So I'm not. All right. This is since in 1904. All right. There's a book called 
the book of the Goetias of Solomon, the king. All right. Crawley had already added some invocations in there that was not related to the actual work of it. Now, this is the thing that's very interesting, how I know Crawley was moving deep with these demons. When you get that book and you see some of the language, it's also in the Enochian language. Some of the script is in the Enochian language, which is also part of the angelic language. So he was very much in communication with these beings. That's where you start getting Madame Lavasky and whatnot, and you you hear they started heading up the um Dawn Society, the Golden Dawn Society. All right. Then you will have seven seven seven, which is the book of the law. When Crawley went to Egypt, how he was able to inspire to write that book when he deal with the entity Iowas. Hmm? Am I am I getting somewhere? Y'all say I want to know what the 72. Y'all don't even know the influence Iowas had just by communication with Crawley on this planet within that time. His wife, who didn't even know much of this stuff, it jumped in her and started communicating. This is some deep, serious stuff, people. Okay? It's a reason why me and Baba knew when we came on here and gave it. And anybody who didn't get that live stream, shame on you. Especially if you want to know about this and into this. Okay? I see Tracy just put up something. Enochian language. Enoch, who walked with God. Archangel. Yes. Who dealt with the God and the archangels. And the fallen ones begged Enoch to go take their message up to God. Basically, where they started trying to cop a plea. Meaning they wasn't, you know, keeping that same energy. All right. Hold on. Let me see something here. Because if I have this much people watching, that means it got some spies and nobody ain't hitting the like button. I'm like, the, the stuff is growing. I know I started early. I already got 81, 82, 83 people and only 42 likes. Yeah, I see I'll be ending up this real quick. Anyway, back to what I was saying. That's why I give... The sulfagy frequencies. Because I don't know how you want to get into higher communications with these angelic beings and you haven't been doing it for long and you want to do a rapid, fast pace and you're not dealing with the sulfagio or sulfagy frequency, with the, which is really known as angelic tones, which I'll say for you right now. Uh, Ooh. I'm going to say it again. Or how they say, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Si, La, Ti, Do. Ah, I bet a lot of y'all didn't even know that, huh? And each one of those have a frequency. That's why when people play those frequency. They say how they pause, raise it when they get an angelic 
this for me or the Sofagi this, all right? Especially if they listen to the, the love frequency, the one that's known to repair DNA, which is known as what? Let me see if people know what the love frequency is in the, one of the angelic tones. I want to see how much people get it. Oh, and it's a dead giveaway. If you're watching me right now, I'm telling you, it's in front of your face. <laughs> um, just so you know. And I'll give you a hint. It's on the scale of me. Which could be known as MI, blah, 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 blah. You get it. But I want to see how much people is going to get it. All right. It is the frequency that helps repair DNA, deals with miracles, and transformation. Oh, wow. Okay. Y'all sharper than I thought. Y'all got me on this one. Mm. A lot of y'all are on it. Lilani Brown, you got it. Tinker, you got it. Bush, you got it. Scorpio, you got it. Let me see. See, now I could really flow. Now we interacting. GL, you got it. Bai, you got it. Kathy, you got it. Steph, you got it. Beverly, you got it. Okay. Tracy, you got it. And future hip hop, you got it. And Bryant, no Bryant, not Ohm. Ohm is different. Ohm is the frequency that the earth makes. Okay. Mr. 2020 Vision, Galactic, Capitone, got it. All right. Nubian Queen Show, what's up? You got it. Oh, y'all on it tonight. Hmm. Manny Tex got it. Damn, y'all sharp. Hell. Clap, 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 clap for y'all. Y'all good. Okay. Johnny Boy, you got it too. All right. Yes, Eric, let them know. Hit that damn like button. Don't worry. We ain't going to stress on it long. Now, I'm going to tell y'all to deal when you start dealing with the communication of these angelic beings, when you're dealing with the ones above and below, that's where a stone like this comes in. Take a good look at it. This is called a zestiolite. Now I've seen people walking around with some fake zestiolite. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. Y'all know y'all bring anything in front of my face, especially if y'all trying to be cheap. You know I'm going to defecate all over it, right? People just love doing that. Or if you bring something of super low quality. So I'm going to let you know certain stones. If you don't get the stones, I know y'all bull -ishing. Because the stones that you need to deal with, when especially if you're listening to those same frequencies that I have on the frequency CDs, if you have the high angelic frequency CDs and the sulfagio um, frequency CDs, okay, then you would know what crystals to use, like azestrolite, moldavite, damberite. I'm not going to give out all. I'm going to leave it as that. Okay. Um, 285 hertz is good for cells. Though the ultimate ones is good for cells. It's 528. It deals with the reconstruction of every cell in your body. It repairs DNA. We're dealing with angelic tones. All right.
Um, I see an interesting question before I continue. Wardner asks Joel Benjamin 528, do you think Whitney Houston sung on the love frequency to have an angelic voice like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I know. I already know that for a fact. Just so you know, I already know that. All right. So. Ronda Tink Tinker says, I just got some from you and the CDs and it helps. Facts. Um, anyway, let me see any other questions that the five to it hurts tuning for right here. Okay, I, I hear you. She, Nina. Now, what did Mozart compose? We already should know about Mozart and all of that. That's why these people, when they did what they did and they play on a certain hertz, certain hertz to activate you a certain way. One of the people that knew about this and said, he said it in an interview, go check it out. He's like, yo, I could easily put the frequency in the music and control the people. He said, I know the frequency. You know who that was? XXX Tentacion. What happened with XXX Tentacion, he started, he started off like right away, started dealing with the lesser. Mm -hmm. That's why you see he was wilding out doing all kinds of things. Only until he started realizing he started moving higher with the 72 higher ones. Because in order to control and open up and conjure the 72 lower, you have to mess and deal with the 72 higher, at least the three birth angels out of them. And then on top of that, you had to deal with the high, the high angelic beings that governs over all of them, which is your archangels, okay? I'm just laying it out here for you. That's all. Some of y'all that's going through pain around this time, that's losing family and all that, that's where one seven, 174 hertz come into play. But to, to move up above the 174 hertz, that's where you have to start dealing with the higher angelic frequency because you need something higher than that now around this time. Because you have these entities that's trying to cause you to do certain things that you shouldn't be doing and get into certain things that you shouldn't be getting into, like necromancy, rising of the dead. I said it. Ninety-eight percent of y'all are not ready for that. Okay. And let me be clear, I'll say it again. 98% of y'all are not ready for that. Take it how you want to take it. And let me put the number out there now because I know people are going to be like, oh, how I get the how I get the crystals and the stuff. In case y'all ain't know. 929-374-3828. That's 929-374-3828. Okay? Back to the mat at hand. So when you go and you jump into this and not knowing you might be dealing with text that's laying on the line, more so of Alistair Crawley's work, okay, stuff that he put in there, that's where you fail, 
you're doomed. These Goetias don't play. Oh, I promise you, they don't play. Remember, when dealing with these demons, if you're not on a high royal level, there's only one way I could put it. You're up. Yeah. Without me actually cursing, y'all get it. That's why they gave the breakdown. When you get deeper into the writing, there were four kings that controlled them. In different texts, of course, they went by different names. Okay? That's where you have your Samuel, Azael, Azael. That's two different names. I'll say it again. I'll start over. Samuel, Azael, and Azael. Azael. Azael and Azael. They sound very separate. I mean, um, very, they're separate, but they sound very similar. Do not confuse the two. And then you have Mahazuel. But in other texts, I'm trying to remember the text that that's from the other ones. But I'm going to give you the name. And I'm going to give you each governing zone and regions where they're known to be dealt with and commanded by the four kings. Okay? When you're dealing with the cardinal, the whole cardinal thing. That's Am Am Ayam Am Am Amon or Am Am May Mon, so you can understand. That's East Karsun or Kar or Korsan, which is the West, and Zimina, which deals with the North. Then you have Gap or Gaap or Gaap. I'm going to say that name again. You have Gate or Gaap or Gaap, which deals with the South. All right. I'm, uh, I'm missing something. Hold on. There's something important you got to know when dealing with these four kings. They made sure, let me be clear, they made sure they deal, dealt with the 72 higher. I want to make that clear. I don't want you to think that they just went in and dealt with the 72 lower. It don't work that way. Okay? So these are conjurers. When y'all see me deal with certain things like the honey amber, where people will be like, oh, that's too expensive, then I know you're not supposed to get it. That means you're not supposed to get on those lines of doing what you have to do. When you have something like this, the gold oil, okay? And y'all laps on getting that. I know you haven't reached that level of doing what you have to do. When you ain't get the damn right and the other stuff, and mind you, I know how to bless and activate it. This, what you see here, is a zestulite. Very expensive piece of stone. Okay? And not for nothing, I was about to sell this what day it was, and then I was like, oh, and I have a zestulite already. But I'm like... Mm. I think I'm keeping this piece for myself because I have very little because it's hard to get and it's a lot of fake asses that you're like going out around out there now and now they turning around and calling certain stones that are good stones but they try to say oh it's a zestulite 
Brown is Estralite, black is Estralite, bullish. Bullish. There are stones that have attributes, but they just use the name as Estralite. Remember, the name as Estralite is trademarked. Don't forget that. Keep that in mind. So, when you don't have your frequency CDs, you're not dealing with your frequency CDs, you're not dealing with your malas, your honey amber mala like that, and dealing with those mantras. How you expect that you want to deal with the 72 Lesters? Hold on. Let me see the chat. Manny Tech say, yeah, you got the gold oil. Okay. Um, let me check something real quick. Because I see I'm already at the 41-minute mark. And I wasn't going to look to stay here long. I already said that. Almost 100 people. Right. And 73 likes. Yeah, okay. Anyway, people. This concludes the breakdown on this. If you want to get your high angelic frequency CDs, Sophagi frequency CDs, the crystals that deal with those angelic beings, the gold oil, the honey amber, any things of that nature, you call that number right there, 929-374-3828. I'm not going to come on here, be on here late at night and beg and ask for likes. That's one. Number two, I'm not going to ask y'all to interact. Them days are done. As a, these are per, very perilous times right now. A lot of people are going through a lot. Some with their own spouse. These entities have taken over. There's going to be a time where you'll watch your own child. The time is coming. There's going to be you versus your child, you versus your wife, you versus your husband, you versus your mom, you versus your father. And it's going to either be a good side or a bad side. Some of y'all that's watching this stream, some of y'all are going to be on the damn bad side. I already know it. I feel the energy. Y'all irritate me. So I already know. Some of y'all just come on the stream just to watch and be nosy. See how much of the source I'm giving up. That's why I do the pay-per-view live streams. Okay. Because I know you ain't worthy of it, so you ain't going to spend that money. Okay. We could start getting into the magical calendar and all that. But that's why I said when I don't see my video being shared or whatever, I don't get into all of that. Okay? A lot of y'all want to get into this and y'all want to get into the conjuring aspect. Do not do it. It will behoove you to stay away from that. That's all I'm saying. I told you what book to stay away from that was published by Alistair Crawley when it touches on this type of thing. Okay? When you start dealing with a form of necromancy, you are going to a whole nother level. Don't forget, before I go, let me show this. And I really shouldn't. I should just end out the effing live stream right now. That's really what I should do. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, people. So I want to see if I could find 
when I talked about the Magnetar Star. And if y'all haven't got that live stream, shame on you. Because a lot of the stuff we talked about in that live stream is based on what's going on now. Okay? With the Magnetar Star and the Warping Entities. So you're going to go to Joel Benjamin 528. If you haven't subscribed already, shame on you again too. Okay? Definitely shame on you on that one. So the Warp in Star came around that time. Excuse me, the Magnetar Star and Star and the Warp in Entities came around a certain time, especially in conjunction with Mercury Retrograde. That was a very rough time for a lot of people. All right. Let me share my screen. Check this out. To show you, I've been talked about it a lot of what's going on now. This is the Joel Benjamin 528 channel. See? That's me. Let's go all the way down. You see it here? And we taught you how to amplify the energy with the magnetar star. Okay, so you're going to check that out. It said you'll never be the same. Look at that. Just so y'all see. You see it here? Fear of the magnetar star, Mercury retrograde in Scorpio. Destruction of zodiac signs, the warping entities take over. Warping entities, you've been warned. Portals of the Magnetar Star. Warping entities, how to protect your aura. I could go on and on. These are videos that you need to see. Notice, see the views? See the views? That's because people ain't know about that. Don't look, it's on my page. So you can't say I ain't put the information out there for you. Okay? I think I rest my case on that. Rest my case on that. So, um, um, Linda Tinker says, what? That was in October. Yes. Since far back in October. I dropped that information for you. Me and Brother Divine did that. And then me and Baba New hit y'all with the um, 72 above. I'm just telling y'all there's certain things you do not need to jump into, people. Okay? Because you you go on the line of necromancy. If you watch... The Lord of the Rings, the, the main villain with that eye that was shown, he was a necromancer. You had you didn't get to really fully learn that part until you watch The Hobbit. So you see, people like to deal with certain seals. And I tell them, don't look to deal with these seals. That's why I do not sell them the Book of Moses or, or even... How you say, that's the word I'm looking for. Give them any information and guidance on it. Once I tell you it's not for you, it's not for you. Do not question me down. Okay? Real talk. When you're dealing with a transmission in certain manuscripts that has been corrupted and you are not on your A game and you're dealing with certain seals and you don't know the manuscript that you're reading is corrupted. You enter these things just around you, just like when you use a, uh, a Ouija board. Okay. There's certain astrological seals that you could put up to enhance your, your zodiac sign, you as a person. 
Okay. And this knowledge is in every culture. This is where you start getting along the lines of <sighs> deal with it all the time. I don't know why I can't think of the name. That means I shouldn't give you the information. Uh, let me, I just say it this simple way the Jewish mysticism. Okay. Stop trying to deal with the certain seals and trying to summon different demons. Okay? There's certain points of different areas of your, or let's say of the compass, north, south, east, west. You don't even know which one you're strongest in. So if you don't know which one you're strongest in, I know you haven't even mastered the four corners, i.e. in the Masonic Lodge, stand in your square. Um, let me see something. Mm, all right. Let's see. Y'all wait till last minute to pick up on them likes. Um, let me just take, since I've seen the likes up, I'll take any questions. Nah, it don't even make no sense. I'll just end out the live now. Next time, be up on y'all A game. It's just simple as that. People, I'm here to give you the information. We could do pay-per-view lives, all that we want. If you're not ready for this information, you're not getting it, and I'm not giving it. Joel Benjamin 528. Call. You need the items. I see how serious you are. 929-374-3828. Peace.